to start off by reading you a page from my journal that I wrote last year. This is it. This year is my year. Underclassmen IASA's sports and cultural conventions. Artistic, athletic, and an academic achiever. I should be happy. I've worked so hard for this, yet it still doesn't feel fulfilling. January 12, 2014. From the very first day of high school, I was introduced to the game of perfection. I was eager to make high school the best four years of my life, and I'd do whatever it took to get there. From a young age, I was determined that I wanted to be the best at something. And that was because it worked out so simple in my head. I made a formula, a very, very easy formula that I thought I could live my life by. That was, by being the best, it would lead on to happiness. And through happiness, I would have success. For a while, that worked. I was genuinely pleased with all the achievements I was getting in school. And I thought, high school was a really good place to be. Sooner or later, such achievements no longer became a thrill. Every time I'd earn a new achievement, I wasn't satisfied. I was set on achieving bigger and better. I was on the pursuit for perfection. Everything I did, how much effort I put in, however hard I worked, it wasn't going to be good enough. It was never good enough for me. Everything had to be perfect. Just a tiny flaw, a lesser of an achievement. It was just a pang of disappointment to me. I had lost my complete identity to the game of perfection, not in just an academic way, but I felt the need to be the perfect friend, the perfect daughter, the perfect student. In a few short weeks, I would lost my identity, and all I really wanted was a little bit of joy restored into me. The turning point in this was when I realized that I was scared. I was scared of facing challenges because deep down, I was petrified of failure. And sometime before, I would have been so excited to get an opportunity to face a challenge because overcoming a challenge was a great feeling, but yet now I felt like a coward. I had built a mentality that if I wasn't going to be the best at it, that there's no reason that I should try it all. That there's no reason that I should have any sort of feeling to attempt it. I was letting fear dictate my life. I feared failure. I feared imperfection and I feared not being good enough. I channeled so much willpower into being the best at the expense of my health, my relationships with friends and family, but most importantly, my happiness. I went to school for a really long time not knowing the real reason why I was so upset every day. I thought, Maybe it's just because I wanted to achieve something more, and I wanted to achieve better. But truthfully, I was in complete denial of my obsession to be perfect. Looking back at it now, I am so grateful that I was able to realize that I'm not perfect, and I'll never be perfect. I am able to embrace my flaws and look on the brighter side of life, use my imperfections to propel me into positive thought. Now, I see being imperfect is not a bad thing. In fact, I see it as a good thing. Mistakes are ne inevitable. We all make mistakes. But it's what we do after we make the mistakes that count. How we learn from them, how we grow from them, and how we can better ourselves as a person from the mistakes we learn. To me, it's really important to find the right balance between striving, and learn, striving for, for, for perfection and learning from the mistakes we make. Everyone has their own way with coping with distress. I choose to indulge myself into dancing, which is also quite ironic because an element of dance is focusing on precision and proper technique and utmost perfection. Yet the other half about dancing is about letting your emotions take you on a journey. Artistry. Artistry is about freedom. Freedom to let go. Freedom to express yourself. Freedom to be whoever you want to be because there is no one here to judge you or tell you what you're doing wrong. Freedom to be you. Through dancing, it made me feel so liberating. It made me feel so free. It was a feeling that I'd almost forgotten. Dance rejuvenated me. 
and it made me bring back my identity. I believe a hobby applies to everyone. If you're an artist, let the paintbrush guide you. If you're a scientist, go experiment. The sky's the limit. The best thing about a hobby is that you don't have to be the best at it. That you can come first, second, last, it doesn't matter because it's something you love to do. And by doing something you're passionate about, despite all the, mer all the errors you can make, you're putting passion over perfection. And by doing that, you are succeeding. I firmly believe that there is no measurement for success. No formula, no recipe, no instruction, nothing. Rather, it's an individual's evaluation of themselves and their progress. Perfection can hold you back, but it's so much more important to strive for continuous, import, for continuous improvement, to find improvement to help better yourself as a person. And through the mistakes you learned, through everything you grow from, everything you learn from, you are heading yourself into the direction of success. And I'm not here to tell you give up on your dreams or forget them. I'm merely just saying that it's just as important to have fun, to have happiness and joy when you're on the road to reaching your dream as it is to obtaining your dream. And if you finally reach your goal and it's not what you imagined, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't interrogate yourself, don't blame yourself, don't question why you went wrong, where you went wrong, how you went wrong. It doesn't matter. Take a deep breath, smile, tell yourself that it's okay because there's another dream out there that's just right and just perfect for you. So to sum it up, I um, would like to share a quote that I really helped me get over my mental block in life. And that was, you were born to be real. Not perfect, but it's not up there. Um, so if anything I want you to get away from today's speech, is to know that perfection is unattainable, but dreams are real. And that you may want to, you may st strive to, you may struggle, you may do whatever it takes, but you will never win the game of perfection. But everyone needs to remember that everyone, each and every person, has a chance of reaching their goal, has a chance to live their dreams. It's time we start embracing ourselves loving ourselves, because that itself is a far greater achievement than success and perfection will ever be. Thank you. Um, but you're probably wondering why I'm wearing socks, and in my speech I did talk about dance, and I feel like it's so important that if you love something that you're able to share it with each other. So I hope each and every one of you find something that you can share with one another, and so today I want to share dance.